time was on a drive like this when a cowhand's only partners were his horse and a padded saddle. Today, smart cow folks are riding easy in the smoothest working pickup ever to haze a steer, the 63 Ford F-100. Take a look now. You won't miss a cab. You have greater visibility in a Ford cab than in any other truck today. A Ford cab is silent, too, because Ford uses more insulation in its cab than any other leading make of pickup. Roll the Ford pickup over your own spread. Run it through anything. No padded saddle needed in this cab, mister. You're riding handsome on foam cushion seats. You're riding relaxed through any job on Ford's long leaf springs for big bump comfort. Go chase the steer if you like. That's one way to check the comfort in the cab of the 63 F-100 pickup. Corral one at your Ford dealers. Find us a sun-scorched mountain range, you said. Then build us a truck to go over it. A pickup truck with muscle and guts. A pickup that works like the big ones. We built that truck at Ford. The F-100 for 63. The pickup built like the big ones. It's for punishment. The F-100 with its parallel rail frame on a big truck backbone. Put it to work. An I-beam axle linked to big truck type leaf springs keeps you tracking through, gives you fingertip control. Pile on a load. Two-stage rear leaf springs say, keep it coming. Go tame a road. Better yet, go tame a torture test like this. You'll find comfort's no option in a Ford pickup. It's standard equipment. Build us a truck, you ask? We built you one, the 63 F-100, the pickup built like the big one. Test it out, September 28th at your Ford deal. You're seeing what a Ford pickup frame can take. We welded the frame to the front of a Sherman tank. It's the same frame that's the backbone of the F-100 pickup. It's the same type of parallel rail frame used on all big trucks today. Rugged? Look, this wall is three bricks solid. Now watch the Ford frame at critical instant of impact. That's sheer punishment. And punishment this Ford frame is built to take. It's just one reason why a Ford pickup keeps coming back for more. A glutton for punishment? You bet because it's built tough to stay tight. No wonder they say, from frame up and frame down, it's the pickup built like the big trucks. Latch on to the 63 Ford F-100 at your Ford dealer. It storms on a sun-scorched flat. It thunders over a mountain range. The Ford F-100 for 63, the pickup built like the big trucks. You can't mistake its big truck guts. A parallel rail frame gives it a glutton's appetite for bumps. You can't mistake its big truck muscle. An I-beam front axle linked to big truck type leaf spring. You won't mistake its big truck blend of fruit and beauty with comfort built in. Sample the soft way over a bump, the sure way through anything on a sun-baked stretch of your own in this, the 63 Ford F-100, the pickup built like the big truck. We lifted a Ford 223 six-cylinder engine out of a standard Ford pickup, fed it some gas, and started it up. Watch dramatic proof that Ford-built, deep-block constructed engines are tough. Tough enough to stand up against a solid brick wall and keep right on running. That's engine construction that's Ford tough, but that's only half of it. We dropped the same pickup engine into a big Ford tandem, normally powered by an engine nearly twice its size. Now watch. That rig weighs over 100,000 pounds. How's that for big truck pulling power? And it's the same pickup engine that battered the wall. No wonder we say, in engine, axle, frame, and spring, it's the pickup built like the big truck. The 63 F-100 at your Ford dealer. 
Keep your eye on that 1,000-pound block as we drop it on the I-beam axle of a Ford pickup truck. In slow motion now, look out below. There's a pickup axle that's built to take it because Ford pickup trucks are built like the big ones with the same kind of rugged I-beam axle as the big trucks have. A rut-busting I-beam axle is only one reason why this pickup works like the big ones. For the backbone of the F-100 is a heavy-duty parallel rail frame like the big trucks have. And this Ford style side also has a durable steel floor, welded in place for extra rugged firmness, for extra heavy loads. If you need a pickup built to take it, remember this punishing demonstration. Look for this I-beam axle and all the heavy-duty features that make the 63 Ford F-100 the pickup built like the big one. I'm a cowboy, and I own over a hundred head of horses. But believe me, I spend more time in the cab of a workhorse like this than I do on the back of any of them. It's a 63 Ford. I own 5,000 acres of land in two counties. And that's the right smart of mileage. And I wouldn't have a pickup that I couldn't use. Believe me, we use them. From feeding like this to hauling a Bramer bull, it'll weigh close to 2,000 pounds. Rugged? Tough? Sure. Just like one of these bucking horses, it's tough. But I'll tell you one thing, it's a lot easier to ride. Ford sure didn't forget comfort when they built this cab. They say that it's built like the big one. And you know, I think they're right. This is a Sherman tank, 33 tons of moving steel. We welded the frame of a Ford pickup truck to the front of the tank. Watch that frame take everything the tank takes. Only the Ford frame takes it first. It's the same frame that's the backbone of Ford's F-100 pickup. It's the same type parallel rail frame used in all big trucks today. To prove again how rugged this frame is, Watch this bridge built with Ford pickup truck frames as it absorbs the full 33 tons of the tank. Even with all that weight, it still comes back for more. A glutton for punishment? You bet, because it's built tough to stay tight. No wonder, they say, from frame up and frame down, it's the pickup built like the big trucks. Latch on to the 63 F-100 pickup at your Ford dealer. Standing proud over the land it conquered is this Ford pickup, slightly used, slightly dirty. It got that way proving how tough it was in a 100,000 mile reliability test run in the great Southwest. This Ford I-beam front suspension went 100,000 miles without needing a wrench. Built tough, it stayed tight even on body jar and roads like this. Transmission clutch and rear axle needed no overhauling over the 100,000 miles racked up on gravel roads, high-speed highways, and in city traffic, too. All tires, gas, oil, and repairs for this Ford pickup averaged only 3.2 cents per mile. 100,000 miles. Yet this Ford pickup, with regular maintenance and normal careful driving, is still only slightly used, still ready for work. Its second 100,000 will prove that. These Ford pickups are proving their reliability in a 100,000-mile test run, close on their heels over every punishing mile or two Ford Econoline vans. Ford pickups are built like the big trucks, so 100,000 round-the-clock miles was a snap for them. But for the so-called light-duty Econoline vans, the same 100,000 miles seemed like too much to ask. Still, every mile along the way, the Econolines hung on like shadows and delivered more than 20 miles per gallon for 100,000 miles. 100,000 miles that included high-speed highway, city stop-and-go driving, and dusty gravel roads proved the Econolines were tough, truck-tough, road-worthy. Together, these seven Ford trucks racked up 700,000 miles to show their reliability, the long-term reliability you can expect in every Ford pickup and van you buy. 
This is big truck country. It's on jobs like this you'll find the 63 Ford F100, the pickup built like the big trucks. It has a truck type high beam axle linked to a big truck type suspension up front. And it has Ford's two stage leaf springs in the rear. Tough? You bet. Yet the 63 Ford F100 pickup rides so well. See it at your Ford dealers.